Welcome to the ctwinereview.com. I'm Matteo Fagan, and today we are talking about healthy wines. That's right. Um, wines from Uruguay. Uh, I did a review of all of the Tanats available in Connecticut. Yes, there's only four available, so it wasn't a very long review, and I have three of them right here. Um, and um, we're going to talk about Tanat because Tanat is not just a great drinking wine from Uruguay, nice alternative to like a Malbec, but uh, there's a lot of people that have been told by their doctor to you know, have a glass or two of red wine for their health. You know, it lowers the cholesterol, it's richer in, in antioxidants, um, resveratrol, all these great things. But not all red wine is created equal. In fact, uh, there's some red wine that have a lot of other additives um, based on how they're made that may not necessarily be good for you. Excessive levels of sulfites, um, different types of chemicals that we'll get into at another time. But um, one wine stands head and shoulders above the rest, and that is Tanat. Uh, and Tanat is the grape. And in fact, the levels of uh, procyanidins, um, resveratrol in this wine uh, coming from Uruguay in Tanat, in many instances, is two to three times as much. Uh, antioxidants or resveratrols as regular uh, fine wine. One of the reasons is the way this is made. Um, the grape itself is a transplant from Madiron, France. And while most grapes have two seeds in them, the Tanat grape actually has three. Uh, actually, sorry, two to three seeds are on average for most grapes. The Tanat grape has five. So when the wine's sitting there fermenting and it's getting all those uh, um, antioxidant ingredients, it's getting it from the skin and from the seeds. So having those extra seeds while the wine's fermenting gives it that extra uh, level of resveratrols, which is what everyone's looking for. So when you think two to three times as much as average red wines, you may only have to drink one glass of this versus three glasses of something else to get the same levels of antioxidants. So, um, but let's put all the health, uh, health notes aside for now because the bottom line is, is how does this wine taste? Um, this is why it's one because these other wines are both nice, they're 100% they're Tanat, but I find that the Bodegas Corral is the true winner here. That's this one right here. Um, this is from a family that's been uh, growing since 1752. And what I like best about this wine is it's approachable. Some of the other Tanats can be a little big, dry. Like you just, you, know, you get those extra levels of tannins. And tannins are good for your health, but not necessarily good for a lot of people to drink because they're a little too, you know, tannins, someone had asked me the other day, what is a tannin? How can you describe tannins? Tannins are like, if you chewed an aspirin, you get that bitterness. That's where you're, you're, you're experiencing sort of that tannin, a little bite to it. Um, this has a really nice little violet bouquet. And just nice, a little blackberry, a little cherry, easy, approachable, smooth finish, and a fantastic red wine. So let's, regardless of whether you're drinking wine for health benefits or not, this is just a great wine at twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. The uh, the good side is that it is twelve ninety nine. The downside is it's hard to get. Here uh, at Southington Wine and Spirits. I believe they've grabbed most of the Tanat available of this Bodegas Corral uh, in Connecticut, uh, which is a, a great choice because it's a fantastic... This is something that will go with a lot of dishes, lamb, things off the grill, a steak, even a burger. It's uh, diverse. It's, it's got some... It does have some tannins, but it's going to be a crowd pleaser. You're getting together for the holidays. This is a crowd pleasing red. It's approachable enough for other people to enjoy it. Uh, it's not too big like these other Tanats here are uh, bigger style. So here at the CT Wine Review, I am scoring this wine 92 points. I think it's a fantastic value at $12.99. Some people think that Tanat is going to be the next Malbec. 
I, I don't agree with them because Uruguay has such a such a small growing area compared to Argentina. You're dealing with one twentieth of the of the growing wine growing region as to uh, Argentina. So I think that Tanats are a great buy for now because I think that they're only going to go up in value. This at twelve ninety nine, I think a few years from now could be coming in at seventeen ninety nine. So I think it's uh, a buy and hold. It will uh, last a couple years. It's not something that you should necessarily sell her for 10 years, but it's, uh, it's just a great red wine, something you don't see every day, and very healthy. So don't just buy any red wine when your doctor tells you to uh, get a red wine. Get a Tanat from Uruguay. Again, Bodegas Corral. I have a link below, uh, and uh, this is, of course, available at Southington Wine and Spirits, as well as Total Wine and Spirits in Milford, but Southington Wine and Spirits here in Southington, and hopefully soon online as well, you should be able to purchase this. Uh, check for the website to see if there's a, uh, a delivery in your area. Any questions, call Southington Wine and Spirits at 860-276-9889. Thank you for watching the ctwinereview.com. I'm Matteo Fagan, and cheers. Here's to you drinking more tonight.